Happy Target Con 2018 or something. Here we go. Probably one of the biggest days that we've ever seen if you're either a flipper, reseller, or a collector of Funko Pops. Pretty much every retail store on God's green earth today had some kind of exclusive, be it Hot Topic, FYE, Amazon, Target, Box Lunch, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, uh, where else? I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting stores. I, I know I am. If you're in Canada, EB Games. Uh, there's more. There's Walgreens had exclusives. Every store. It was crazy today. And most stores, if you go right now, a lot of them still have a lot of exclusives available still. Because there's so much, there's plenty to go around. The online drops, which happened this morning, they start going on like at 12.01 a.m. Eastern Time, and they start going through to about like 3 in the morning Eastern Time. I copped several this morning. Most of my hot top, actually all my hot topic pickups I did online on the dot-com drop. Um, kind of glad I did, because when I got the hot topic today, they, people, collectors, resellers, flippers, Whoever did cleaned out most of the, I should say most, they cleaned out a couple of the more desired Funko Pops. But anyway, let me just get into this. I've got literally stacks and stacks of sacks next to me. Some's for me, and I actually picked up quite a few pieces for a buddy of mine. Let me show you what I got. And I actually ran into some collectors who watched me on YouTube at the mall today. And we actually got along just fine. Collectors and flippers coexisting! Amazing, isn't it? There is room in this world for sectors who collide to coexist. The Funko bad guy in person can actually be your friend. Let's go. Let's do this. First stop today. Got to Target. The first Target about 7.50 a.m. Walked in. They said, you can buy three things. I said, that's all? They had a huge rack. They had hundreds, hundreds of items to buy. And I was the only person there. I was it. I said, where's the other people at? He said, oh, we, we had a couple guys here. I guess they opened up early. We had two people here earlier. They each took a couple pops, and that was it. They had hundreds, plural. And I was like, you sure you only want to let me just buy three things? I'm like, this isn't going to sell through. They're like, yeah. So I said, okay, cool. So what I grabbed at Target, the first stop, number one figure I wanted to grab actually for... I mean, say this right now. Most drops today, most of these are not flippable. Most of these drops, there's not much profit to be made. There's nothing really at any of these retail stores that are really that flippable. A lot of these, yes, you can flip them and make five, six bucks. Some even maybe ten. But there's really not much that's flippable. The flippable ones are like the Toy Tokyo exclusives. Some of those, yes, those you can flip. These... No. Most of these I actually purchased to put into my resale shop just to get some more exclusive uh, figurines with stickers on them. People like stickers. So, first stop, I said, you know what? People have been asking for this figure. So, I said, give me a Loki. They gave me a Loki. And I said, give me a blue because lots of people love Disney. I have lots of people coming to my resale shop that like Disney stuff. And I got a Disney. And for my third figure, they had, you know, they, they had like 15 exclusives of Target today. So for the third figure, I said, you know what? Funko Bad Guy likes to go big. So I said, you know what? We're going big. $30 big. This Dino Ultra Zord big. 30 bucks. 
I don't even know if this thing's even worth $30 on the resale market. I don't know, I haven't even looked it up yet. But I saw it and I was like, this thing is actually, like, insanely cool. I mean, if I was a collector, this would be like a must cop. Like, if, if you had a chance to buy this thing today and, and you didn't buy it, you should have bought this thing. It is really freaking cool. So, I'm going to put this into my shop. Hopefully it goes for like 50 bucks. I got I to gotta look this thing up still. Hopefully I can price it like 50 bucks or so. We'll find out though. That was my first stop. Target. Three. And I walked out. And I was like, are you sure you don't want to sell me some more? Because you've got a lot. So I went down to Barnes & Noble right down the road. They opened up at nine. They didn't get any exclusives in. What is that crap? So I went down to my mall. Stood in line. FYE. Ran to actually a couple of collectors there who actually recognized me. And yeah, they were some pretty cool guys. A couple of guys I chatted up with. One guy invited me to a local um, toy, uh, like a toy and collectible show this weekend. And uh, that was actually pretty cool. And let's see. So what I got there, they had a limit of two. So, you know, Funko Bad Guy, I got to get two of the same one. Who is this figure? Professor Squirrel. And almost everybody in line was taking two of the same one. I know FYE, they also had the Superman, the, the three chrome for $45. Then they had another one. What was it? My my Girl or something. Some, ex, some ex, stickered exclusive. Nobody was touching those. Everybody was getting two of these. Like, everybody. Collectors, resellers. Everybody was basically... Everybody was double fisting these and walking out. Everybody's grabbing by by the two. So uh, some people though, the line was actually probably 30, 40 people deep. So a lot of people left and they didn't get one of these things. So pays to get there early, I guess. So I got two of these at FYE and actually a guy behind me in line let me use his FYE card for a 10% discount. So a collector actually hooked up the Funko bad guy with 10% off. So to that collector. Um, I actually talked to him earlier in line too, and he watches me on YouTube. So huge shout out to that collector. Hooked up the bad guy, 10% off. So after that, we went down to box lunch in my mall because I wanted to see if I could get this uh, Toy Story contraption pizza planet truck because this released online this morning and. I, I, I kind of thought about buying it because it was $40 and I had it in my shopping cart and I hesitated. I was like, eh, I don't think it's, it's, it's going to sell out. Wait a couple minutes. I was like, you know what? Why not? Even if, if, if it doesn't sell out, I could probably still put it into my resale shop, price it $40, $45, maybe 50 bucks. Go back in, it's gone. I'm like, whoa, this thing sold out online? Dang it! So then I look on eBay and they're going for like $60, $70. I'm like, Funko Bad Guy missed the flip. So um, at their FYE, box lunch, they had five of these things left. And I bought the best, the best condition one left that they had. And uh, it's actually a really cool figure. If you have a chance to pick up one of these, if, if you're a collector, I would definitely do it. It's actually really freaking cool. The Ultra Dinosaur and these these two things, I think honestly, from today's drop, these two pieces, if you're a collector, these two I think are the best from today's, uh, whatever you want to call it, Target Con NYCC 2018 Friday Spectacular drop. These two, I think, were the two must cops of the day, in my personal opinion. If you're a collector. And mine are for sale too. So, you know where to get them. So, box lunch. Got that bad boy. I haven't checked prices on it yet. So, I don't even... I mean, since it sold out this morning. I don't know if it's gone up in price. I don't know if prices have died on it yet. Hopefully, they haven't. After that, then I... What? Went down to Think Geek in my mall. Looked at their exclusives. They kind of stunk. They had... Uh, Thor Ragnarok guy thing is, ah, pfft, nah, uh, nah. They had a Flash Superman dual pack, eh, eh, pass. They had two more, get out of here. They were, they were, they were, they were kind of crap. Left the mall, 
and I stopped at a Kohl's on the way to my next Barnes & Noble. You know what I was looking for, don't you? You know what I was looking for at Kohl's, don't you? You know what I was looking for. Guess what I found? Got two of them, baby. Walked into Kohl's. Went back to the toy department. Didn't see him. Went up to the customer service desk, and on my phone, I actually have the UPC, like barcode of this thing, saved onto my phone. So, a little, little tip for you guys. If you're a flipper or a collector, somehow save the UPC if you want these things. I'll even pull it up right now and I'll show you. This is what I'm talking about. When I go into Kohl's, if I don't see it on the shelf, I'll go up to, to the customer service desk and I'll ask them nicely and just say, ma'am or sir, can you possibly scan this barcode into your little handheld system and can you tell me if it's possibly in the store somewhere or if it's in the back room or if it's sitting on your truck in the dock? And usually, if you ask nicely, if you give them the barcode that they need to scan, I've never been told no. And today, she scanned it and she said, actually, yes. It's in our truck in the back room right now. We just got in two on our truck. Let me go see if I can get somebody to get them off the truck for you. I waited about 15 minutes. Guy comes out, hands them to me. Boom, got him. So that's a little trick for people. Like in, in my phone, like for the Michaels that's coming out, their next exclusive, is that Michaels? No, it's Target. I got Michaels in here for another one, but like, like Target, they have an exclusive coming out here pretty soon. You know, like I got the barcode saved. So when I go into Target, hey, you got this thing. Or, you know, this, this is a little tip for anybody out there. Give it, make it easy on the employees to help you. Help them help you and be successful. So I got two of these things. These puppies going for like what, 30, 35 bucks a piece. They were nine dollars or 10 bucks a piece in store. So nice score. Kohl's, two of these. This has been a good day so far. Then headed to my first, second Barnes and Nobles. First one I struck out. Barnes and Nobles, pick this up for my collector friend, DJ Dells. Um, he, he does not resell, he's not a flipper, he is a hardcore collector. He's got hundreds of Funko Pops. And I hook him up for retail whenever he needs help. So he needed this figure for his collection. I'm hooking him up for retail for this, for this figure. I got him the best condition one there. It's freaking like perfect condition too. And a barge and oh, and they let me use my 10% off. And then I got this one for my resale shop, Supergirl. And, um... Uh, was it? Retails 15, 10% off, resale shop, I'll probably put like 20 bucks on it. So that's the second Barnes and Noble. Then I left there and I went to Books a Million. Went there and guess what? Got there and they didn't get in the Predator exclusive yet. They said, we haven't got our truck yet. It might come in today or tomorrow. So then on the way home, I stopped off at my second Barnes and Noble or third Barnes and Noble. And I scored at the third Barnes & Noble. This third Barnes & Noble is kind of my honey hole Barnes & Noble. It's one where I can usually find some harder to find figures because it's in the suburbs that people don't really think about. So I walked in and was able to score two of the creators which sold out online almost immediately. And in stores, people have reported like you can't find these in stores. And this Barnes & Noble actually had five the Funko bad guy wanted to buy all five. The manager there said, no, you only have two. Because he knows I'm I'm a reseller. So he, he he knows me there. But they're cool with me. They say, you, you know, I'm sorry, you, you only buy two. I say, hey, that's cool. So I'll pay the best two. And my buddy again, DJ Dells, he's buying one of these. And he's getting it for retail. Because I hook up my collector friends for retail. Every time. I don't upcharge my friends. If, if they're a friend and they collect, they get retail. And I got these for 10% off of the $40. $40 for this thing. That's crazy. But I got it for $36 with the 10% off. So my buddy will get it for $36. Bucks. Then, last stop on the way home. Went to one more Target because I wanted to pick up one more Loki. One more Loki. And it's a good thing I did 
because my buddy DJ Dells, he needed a Loki, and I got a second Loki, so he's getting this bad boy for retail also. So, that was my extravaganza of a day. I hit literally, how many stores was that? Did, did you count them? 10, 12, 8, 9 stores? That was a full day. That was a lot of Funko Pop hunting in the wild. We came out with the surprise of two of these swoopers, which I did not expect to find today. So this was kind of the find of the day. Came out with two of these, which I did not expect to find because these kind of sold out very quickly online and in store. So today was a success. The Funko Bad Guy is gonna make his money. I hooked up a collector friend of mine. Everything in the world is right. And I even met some collectors at the mall who watch me on YouTube. And we were able to coexist as collectors and as a flipper. That's a beautiful thing. Coexist. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you like this content, give me a big thumbs up or a thumbs down. No matter what, I will consider that a thumbs up because you took the time to do something. So in my mind, you gave me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Funko Bad Guy, out.